Hey there, today in this video I'll be discussing about GeoCraft Business Directory listing WordPress theme. In my previous video, I discussed about its preview and also we went through the different segments that we have got in this theme. And today we'll be discussing about its theme option panel and how exactly we can um, bring in changes to our website with the theme option panel. So let's get started. We'll go to our WordPress dashboard and I've already got the theme installed on my WordPress. All I just need to do is I need to activate it. So I'll click on activate. And as soon as I will activate, you will get this uh, notice over here at the top. It says theme activated successfully. Would you like to populate sample data on your site? Okay, so let's visit our site for the very first time. You can see there is no listings uh, on our website. So let's insert sample data and view our website again. Sample data has been populated on your site. So let's refresh it. Here it is. You can see the sample data. It is just to show you how exactly the listings will appear on your website and uh, just to show you how basically it will show up. So this is how the website will look with all the listings displayed on it. So coming here to WordPress dashboard again, you will find one more thing. When you will activate this theme, you will find this business listings and geocraft settings option over here. All right, we'll come to business listings later on. Uh, let's go to the theme option panel, which comes under geocraft setting. So click here. This is the theme option panel. All right, so starting with the general setting, you have got custom logo. You know this is the logo you can put up your uh, website's logo over here then you have got custom favicon tracking code you can paste your analytics code over here to track the statistics of your website you have got this option to choose the website's background image as well so let's upload an image and see how exactly it will show up let's refresh our site it's just to show you how exactly and where the background will appear you can find this is how the background will appear so this is the place where the background image will be shown up so that is the background image let's remove it it's not looking so good <laughs> and uh, you can choose an appropriate background and it will obviously look good then you've got this front page on or off option so you can choose whether you want to keep your front page on or off then going to home page setting you will find this post button you can see this post your business listing button so if you want to change the text of this button you can change the text from here then you have got home page featured slider main heading this is the home page main feature slider heading you can see it's written premium business listings so instead of that if you want to put up something else you can put up here with premium business listings and then you have got home page recently added heading this is the recently added heading uh, let's refresh our site ain't looking good with the background okay so this is the recently added you saw uh, so instead of this recently added if you want to put up something else you can put up all right and then coming to the listing settings free listing now i told you there are two options uh, one is for the free and uh, one is for the premium listings so if you want to set your free listing to instantly publish or in the pending mode you can choose the status from here right now it is pending it means that any person who is uh, putting up the free listing initially it will be pending and you will be uh, publishing it all right and then this is the premium listing so if you want to set it to publish you can set it to publish or else you can keep it as pending when you keep it to publish uh, anyone who is coming in and uh, publishing his listing it will be instantly published with without your moderation and uh, if you are keeping it pending again you have to go and manually publish it all right so that is the free listing and premium listing status we have got in then you have this lead capture form on or off i'll show you This is the lead capture form we have got in in the premium listings so if you want to keep it as on or off you can do that from here lead capture form on or off for free listing if you want to keep it on for free listing you can choose on from here then you have got the slider limit i'll show you we saw the slider here right this is the slider so how many um, listings you want to show in your slider you can choose the number from here right now it is 20 so there will be 20 listings that will be appearing on the home page and the category page slider then enable captcha on registration page i'll show you when you click here on post your business listing this is another sample website that i have created with geocraft um, 
you will find this uh, form over here registration form so you can see this captcha here so you can enable or disable your captcha on registration page from here also you can enable your terms and conditions block as well right now here is uh, no terms and conditions showed up i'll show you terms and condition on enable captcha on registration page save all changes all right we'll go here and post your business listing you can see this is the captcha and this is the terms and condition statement that we have got in here all right so that is the terms and condition block on registration page then going to styling options you can choose any of the colors for your website from here you have got in um, seven colors green black blue orange and everything let's choose red for example and uh, save all changes then we'll go and refresh our site and see the color is changed so similar way you can change it uh, you can change it into different colors then you have got this theme language if you want to show your uh, the text or the content over here from left to right or from right to left you can choose that from here in the theme language in default it is left to right or else if you want to choose right to left you can choose it from the drop down then you have got this custom css option wherein you can click quickly add some css to your theme uh, by putting it over here in this block so that is the custom css then you have got social icons so let's say we are just Putting up this option away just to show you how exactly it will appear we'll save all the changes and when you will refresh and move down you can find the social icons over here down at the footer section so that is the social icons and that is how it will get displayed you can see twitter facebook bloggers and uh, yahoo then you have got this footer settings you can edit the footer text from here right now it is written 2014 geocraft theme by ink theme so you can put up anything over there uh, this is my site just to show you this is my site. when you will save changes it will be displayed in place of that copyright text you can see this is my site it's written over here so that is the photo settings again the most important part is the option so you can put up your uh, keywords over here that is related uh, to the content of your website just to provide search engines uh, some additional information about your website again you can provide some description and meta author name as well so that is the theme option panel and these are the settings through which you can bring in small small changes to your website like uploading logo uh, favicon tracking analytics and uh, putting up uh, social icons footer settings and uh, listing options and everything so that is the theme option panel and in my next video i'll be discussing about how a person can come up to your website and uh, add his business in the listing on your website so thank you so much for watching and uh, stay tuned for my next video thank you